And we're back this week as Winter Andover Exeter Champions. I'm Kyle Losh, it's the room, and I'll be reporting your very own Philippian sports. On Saturday, Andover fans piled into the rink and the gym to cheer on Andover sports against rival Exeter. Girls hockey kicked off the day with a crushing 4-0 victory over Exeter. Caroline Garrity was instrumental in the win and netted two goals of her own. Morgan Hollowell added a goal of her own and Evagalia Tofoni capped the scoring with an open net goal with four minutes left to play. Andover's key to the game was sustained offensive pressure. Here's Captain Renee Lamarche after the victory. Um, it's incredible. It's absolutely like it's unbelievable. We've never beat Exeter during my time here, so it's been like just it's unbelievable to beat them. It really is. It's yeah. really cool. And what, what did you guys do right today? How did you pull off the win? Um, we just we had the we had to step on them. You know, we like we were faster. We got to the puck. We we you know beat them in the one on ones and all the 50-50 pucks that got them. We were just we wanted it. We wanted it more. That's, Awesome, thanks so much, really Thank you. It. Thank you. At 4.15, Andover boys hockey took the rink. After Exeter scored the first goal, Zach Weinger answered with a goal of his own to knock the game at one. Seniors Brian Apple and co-captain David Bellucci then came through clutch with goals of their own to put Andover ahead 3-1. to one. Exeter, however, did not go down easily. The team scored two goals in the last period, pushed the game into overtime, and ended the game with a 3-3 tie. Here's former Philippian sports editor and assistant captain Michael Kim after the game. Uh, we all just definitely wanted to win this game. Like, it's unfortunate we tied, but I thought the team played played a hell of a game. Everyone worked the tail off, and I mean we got a big week next week, so we got to start preparing for that. You guys just played a very tough opponent. Do you think it helped you uh, prepare in any way for the playoffs? Definitely. I mean, the past, like the whole latter half of our season is against top. 10 teams and we showed a lot of composure and persistence beating these teams with some big comebacks and I think that will definitely help us out in the playoffs. Uh, we just had to be more aggressive. I mean we were giving them too much time in our D zone so we just uh, we made sure everyone was going 110% getting on that puck as fast as possible and it, it worked. Unfortunately as boys hockey was winding down boys basketball fell in a heartbreaking 70-61 to loss against Exeter. After going up 50 to 55 to 53 with less than a minute to play on a Sam Glazer and one, Andover looked like it was going to win, and Borden and Jim erupted into celebration. As time expired, an Exeter forward put down a two-pointer to send the game into overtime. Exeter ultimately ended up scoring 15 points in overtime to take home its only victory of the day. Fortunately, Andover did not rest too long on its boys basketball loss. Girls basketball took home an extremely amazing 38-34 victory over Exeter. Boys basketball, girls basketball, and boys hockey will advance to the playoffs.